Let's talk about the budget buffer. Hi, I'm the Frugal Cyborg MR3. In this part of the channel, we talk about frugal living, saving money, and budgeting. So if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share these videos. Okay, why do I talk about a budget buffer? A lot of people might call this a cushion or a life preserver, but I have a friend that uh, on her video, she mentioned the budget buffer and I like this idea. Never thought about it before. I always had uh, a savings account and a checking account. I even have a bill account, but I'll talk about that in another video if, if I don't forget. But I like the budget buffer. What a budget buffer is, is it is like a cushion, a life preserver. Okay, uh, a, have you ever ran out of money? Like say, you remember your younger years, you're work, making minimum wage and you're swiping your card and it declines. And you're like, I thought I had more than that. But what the budget buffer does is it gives you a cushion. You could build it up as much as you want. Do a, few months maybe maybe you just want to do a month of your income maybe you just want to have a couple thousand who knows it's up to you but a budget buffer will help you not overspend or where you don't need a if you're on a fixed income it will help you not have to use a credit card or a loan so that's how a budget buffer is it kind of just gives you a little bit of help. That's why I call it a, like a life preserver or a cushion. It kind of gets you out. Uh, it kind of gets you out of the uh, like those sticky situations. If you're at a restaurant and you're wondering if you have enough money, and you check your account, and you know how sometimes your account, especially on the weekends. Sometimes some of the uh, checking accounts won't take it out until Monday. So if you're eating out on a weekend, you might overdraft. But when you have a budget buffer, that will help you, that will keep you from overdrafting so you don't have to pay no fee. But I remember uh, overdrafting and I would have to pay the fees that my bank offered at that time. And I hated that. And I said, why didn't they just cut me off? But that budget buffer at that time would have been helpful. But I didn't learn about it until maybe a year or two ago. But if you want, you can just build it up. Leave it in your checking account. Maybe you have a thousand dollars and you get your next paycheck for maybe 1500 or who, who knows how much you get paid. The thing is, you want to stay, at least have that $1,000 in there. So, you don't go below that 1000 That 1000 will just sit there as a cushion or a life preserver. But everybody needs a life preserver or a cushion or a budget buffer. So, you don't overdraft. You don't make unnecessary purchases but a budget buffer has really helped a lot of frugal people some people call it a safety net but there's so many names for it i like the budget buffer because buff and that's what well, that that was a name uh uh guys just called me in uh it's my senior year but but it's about having that uh safety that safety net it's just like giving yourself a spare tire when you're uh, driving down the road maybe you're you're uh, going on a vacation and your tire blows out guess what you have that spare tire that's pretty much what a budget buffer is so if you want you can try that and see how it works if you have one then this Give me a thumbs up or say budget buffer. So 
I'm the Frugal Cyborg MR3 and these are just my thoughts on the budget buffer. If you like this video then give it a thumbs up and everybody have an awesome Frugal Friday and stay awesome.